Ciao, buongiorno a tutti. Uh, I'm just going to say that in Italian, like I've been throwing Italian into a lot of my sentences lately. Even though that's extremely twatty of me, I, I realize, but I'm trying to improve. Anyway, hello everybody. Welcome to the channel. I'm going to be taking you to some bookstores in Rome today. But before I do this, I have to tell you now that this video took several days to make because I get extremely distracted, especially when I'm out on the streets of Rome. That means that I stop to eat or <laughs> something out of my control happens, like the Italian football team coming home and the entire city of Rome coming out to greet them. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not in a hurry. That's, that's kind of the point of slow travel. The fact that I don't have to do all of this in one single day. I don't have to go to every bookstore that I can find in, in one day just to get it done and be able to see them all before I leave because I don't even know when I'm gonna leave yet. So I'm going to head into a few bookstores. Some of them are better than others, but in Rome in general, I think there's a nice selection. In other cities in the past that I've been to, well, okay, Malta is a country, but when I was in Malta, I realized that there were not a lot of options and uh, it's, it's not a good place to go if you are looking for books. Although I don't know why you would go to Malta to look for books anyway. And I, I guess the best place that I've been would be London, Amsterdam, and maybe Buenos Aires. I think Buenos Aires is a really literary city. But anyway, this is about Rome, and I'm gonna be commenting the entire time. So let's go look at these bookstores. <laughs> I got to the first place and this was a sign on the door, Torno Subito, meaning I'll be right back. So I had to wait outside for a while. <laughs> Finally it was open, I was able to go in. It's a really small place, but it has plenty of books and I was tempted to buy some of them, but I didn't because it's the first bookstore I walked into. <laughs> uh, this, these are children's books but this is more my level right now. This book is what I want to be reading, but not yet. And this book is just hilarious. It's a, it's like a dictionary of the hand motions or the gestures that Italians are known to do. So the Italians that I've met are so convinced that they don't do this gesture, that nobody ever does this, but I swear I've seen it, I swear. This is an area for the suggestions of the staff here. I mean, the titles are interesting. Overall, I think the bookstore is pretty cool and it's the closest one to my place right now. So I might end up going back if I finish the books I have on my coffee table. Stuff like this is the reason why I never make it to all the bookstores. But, uh, okay, so we're gonna go to Boutique the store that uh, liked a post of mine on Instagram for a very random reason because the photo wasn't even of a book or anything to do with a book. Here's Booktique, the outside of the shop. You can see that it says, for book addicts. That was promising, but inside, it's more of just a pretty looking place with a lot of photo books and, I don't know, books that I don't really want to read. They just look nice. The store itself was cool though. They had a lot of gift items including these bags here, Cafe Cornetto Cappuccino Repeat. I really liked that bag, actually. I didn't buy it, though, and I didn't buy anything in the store, but there's definitely something in the store that you're gonna wanna buy. You know, I, I stopped myself this time because it's not the kind of bookstore I was looking for. This bookstore has a small two-seat lounge in the back that you can just chill out in. It also has, you know, books like the Michelle Obama book, the Harry Potter books, blah, blah, blah. If you look really closely, you'll notice that everything is in English. 
uh, that's not what I expected from this place. I didn't know that it was an English bookstore, but it is. They have a small selection in the front of used Italian books, but I didn't buy an Italian book. I ended up buying an English book here. Not what I had planned, but the back of it was so nice and the book was a good size, not too big. So I just bought it. Across the street though is another bookstore. Strangely, I didn't really expect two bookstores to be right across from each other so closely and they have nothing to do with each other as far as I know. But it turns out that the second bookstore is totally Italian. There's not a single English book in it as far as I could see. So, okay, they, they balance each other out, basically. Right, so now I'm going to a bookshop that specializes in French and Italian fumetti, which is comic books. And I'm not usually a comic book reader, although I have bought some in the past. I feel that buying an Italian comic book is something like, it's a bit helpful when it comes to remembering new words because you can, it's, it's very visual. And the more senses you use, like vision and hearing when you're reading out loud and just the placement of everything on the page, it helps you to remember the words. So maybe I'll find something I like in here, I don't know. This place really surprised me, Bori Books, in the Roma Termini station, which is the main train station of the city. So when you walk in, eh, it's not a really inspiring looking place, but it has a lot of books, and it kind of reminded me of just an, an average airport bookshop with a bit more books. <laughs> but I was giving it a chance, and I spent a good amount of time on this level, looking around at various sections at the travel section because they had a lot of stuff about Italy and different parts of Italy and, and Rome and I'm really interested in the history of Rome. They had thrillers and even like a small English section. I was very happy about the size of the English section and by that I mean how small it was <laughs> because it's not what I'm looking for when I'm in Italy. But then we go downstairs. So when you first get down here it looks like it's just children's toys. I skipped that part of the video. But then here you can see there's just books, 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 books. So many different sections. It's bigger than the floor above it that we just came from. And I was so impressed with the amount, but it's kind of ugly. There's no atmosphere here. You don't like want to spend a lot of time in here, but there's so many cool books and interesting things to find in here that you will actually spend a good amount of time in here. I did at least. And this is just so Italian in my opinion. They have a section for wine and not only shelves of wine and beer books, they also have pane and pizza, like bread and pizza sections. So yeah, that wasn't surprising, but at the same time it was. This is the comic section or graphic novel. Let's call them graphic novels. I'm not sure if fumetti is comics or graphic novels or both, but there's a ton of them here. And since I didn't get to go to that bookstore that specializes in graphic novels, I was really in the mood to find somewhere that actually did have them. And this is the mother load. This is the most I've seen in any store in Rome. So I bought one. I'm gonna stop the video here because there are a lot of bookshops in Rome and I can't get to all of them. And to be honest, I don't have the desire to go to every single one of them and take a video inside of it and continue this. But I enjoyed making the video and I think I hit some highlights when it comes to bookstores in Rome. There's another one. There's another bookshop, a bookstore called La Fetrinelli, and it's really big. It has a lot of stuff in it. It's nice. There are two or three locations that I know of. There are probably more that I don't know of. I did not include it in the video because I feel like it's the most obvious bookstore possible in this city. It's the first one I went into because the branding is red. It's easily noticeable. It's always kind of full of people. It's in the most 
packed touristy areas in my opinion. So yeah, I don't think it deserved a mention, it's just an obvious one. The ones that I included in this video are less obvious. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed these bookstores, my personal selection. Before I completely, you know, end the video, I'll show you what I bought because I didn't do that yet. <laughs> I bought this, Broccoli. Broccoli is an indie magazine for cannabis lovers and uh, I don't hate it. The Passenger is an Italian indie magazine once again because I really like indie magazines, which is why I made one. The Passenger, Per Esploratori del Mondo. So it's basically a travel indie magazine and they just visit a city for each issue and they collect some stories there and some photography and it's an interesting read. But it's totally in Italian, so be warned. I already showed you this book, but it's one of the books I bought, so I'm including it in this part too. Repetition. <laughs> I bought this book in Italy, here. It's written in English. It's about an Austrian who goes to Slovenia. Esercizi di grammatica italiana per stranieri. I just need this. Yesterday, in the last bookshop that you just saw in the Roma Termini, I bought La Città Sostituita. Someone recommended this author to me and I found the book in there. I thought it was a great opportunity to buy it and it's not too big. Another book called Ubik, I think, was too big for me to read in Italian and probably too complicated right now. And this one, just like I said, I wanted to buy a graphic novel. So I bought Black Terror. It, it's one of the, uh, it, it's backwards. I mean, let's not say backwards, let's say different because that's how Asia does it, or at least Japan. I think it's Japanese. But the art doesn't look very manga style. Anyway, I think I will enjoy it. That's basically it, that's all the books that I bought. Let's hope that I don't have to pay too much extra when my luggage weighs more. I'm finally ending the video now. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel because I have like no followers yet. <laughs> it, this is a work in progress. Uh, but it really helped me out if you started following, if you liked, if you blah, 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 blah. You know, you know the drill, you know how it works. I'll see you next week because I'm gonna be putting out a new video just about every week. Ciao, ciao.